Now, scientists at the European Center for Nuclear Research, or CERN, have resumed their cosmic gun, the Large Hadron Collider. A revolution is on the horizon. The grand game of understanding the nature of the cosmos has therefore begun. In light of recent advances and the revived goals of particle physicists, even before it was renovated, the Collider was producing evidence that the universe might be hiding something extraordinary. The discovery created a question. What is the universe's origin? And why does it include matter rather than dark matter? Whether the information from the discovery is reliable or not, we will have to find out. Please join us as we investigate how physicists at CERN recently made an astounding discovery that will change everything. To begin, let's look at Higgs boson. Higgs boson, the long-sought particle that gives the rest of the universe its mass, was discovered by researchers at CERN, European Organization for Nuclear Research, a decade ago, making headlines around the world. Yet, something seems to be lacking. It's pretty much all of it. Optimistic physicists believe that everything may happen after the sound collider was turned on in 2010. In order to find the Higgs boson, scientists use the most advanced and powerful equipment ever created. This particle is the cornerstone of the standard model, a set of equations that accounts for all the data scientists have gathered about the subatomic world. However, the standard model cannot account for all of the mysteries of the universe, including the Big Bang, the nature of matter, and the mass of the Higgs boson. Moving on, let's look at the muon. In the meantime, a number of tests have pointed to possible holes in the standard model and proposed an alternate, more in-depth vision of the cosmos. These results pertain to the peculiar behavior of subatomic particles, the names of which are generally unknown to us. Think about the Muon, a subatomic particle that shot to prominence just last year. Despite being 207 times more massive than electrons, muons are often referred to as fatty electrons due to their shared negative electrical charge. No one can say for certain where the muons fall in the grand scheme of things. No one can say for certain where muons fall in the grand scheme of things. Radiatively decaying into a flurry of electrons and spectrum neutrinos, they are created during collider events and by cosmic ray collisions. 200 physicists working at the Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory in Illinois found that muons rotating in a magnetic field wobbled significantly faster than expected by the standard model, and they did so in a matter of microseconds. Last year, everyone found out about this. The value of a parameter called G2 which described the particle's reaction to a magnetic field, differed from the theoretical predictions to the eighth decimal place, indicating a discrepancy between experiment and theory. A quantum whisper of as yet unknown particles would develop temporarily surrounding the muon, changing its characteristics, and this was blamed by scientists for the little but noticeable shift. If these particles for probing nature at its most fundamental levels were verified to exist, the standard model would be irretrievably shattered. Adding to that, the uses and complications of Higgs boson. Both a powerful telescope and a highly accurate microscope, the Higgs boson has several uses. Being motivated to gradually lose energy, it can access the physics on a very grand scale. And even according to vacuum physicists, our vacuum is an illusion. Planets, stars and galaxies are able to develop because of the peaks and valleys in the energy potential of the Higgs field. The problem is that this apparent vacuum is not stable and will eventually collapse. It is possible that the false vacuum may roll over the hills and down the slope on the other side if it were able to break the energy barrier thanks to quantum energy fluctuations or the unusual quantum tunneling processes. The dissolution of the fake vacuum would propagate outward like a wave traveling at the speed of light destroying everything in its path and leaving behind a true vacuum. Nothing that might happen would be good for the universe. Our existing universe is thanks to the Higgs field alone, which is stopping the vacuum from collapsing. So here we have yet another exploration of the cosmos. The efforts of the Hadron Colliders to discover physics outside the standard model rely heavily on these models. In spite of its many successes, the standard model of particle physics is not the final word. Next, the expectations of the theorist. For instance, it doesn't work with cosmological versions of the Big Bang. Even still, 
Two camps of theorists are still trying to square away their differences in expectation for what two should be while they wait for more data from the Fermilab experiment. The Mai, one of the six types of quarks that make up heavier particles like protons and neutrons, is also involved in another strange phenomenon. In the story, the B quark might either be the protagonist or the villain. The B meson particle, which consists of two quarks, contains these particular kind of quarks in this narrative. However, these quarks appear to defy the standard model due to their instability and propensity to disintegrate. Some rare decays of a B quark may involve a cascading series of processes that ultimately yield a new, lighter quark and a pair of light particles called leptons. These leptons could be electrons or their chubby cousins, muons, or both. For this process, the standard model predicts an equal chance of electrons and muons. Tau leptons are a third heavier than mu leptons, but they decay too quickly to be detected. The lepton universality principle has been broken, however, by the discovery of more electron couples than muon pairings by Dr. Patel and his colleagues. Like the magnetic anomaly at the MUN, this one suggests the presence of an unseen particle or force that is disrupting the process. Following the mass of Higgs boson to Dr. Patel, the possibility of a leptoquark, a subatomic conjecture, is one of the most dramatic if these findings stand up in the future collider run. If it exists, this particle could help bridge the gap between quark-based particles like protons and neutrons and lighter leptons like electrons, muons and neutrinos. Attractiveness. There are six types of leptons and six types of quarks, so said Dr. Patel. We're starting this stretch with greater hope that a revolution is on the horizon. Keeping my fingers crossed. Another member of this motley crew behaving strangely is the W boson, which carries the so-called weak force responsible for radioactive decay. In May, the collider detector at Fermilab, known as CDF, announced the results of a decade-long endeavor to determine the particle's mass. W boson should weigh around 80 billion, according to the data acquired from collisions at Fermilab's Tevatron, the world's most powerful collider before the construction of the Large Hadron Collider. Quantity most in line with previous mass measurements and the standard model. In contrast, a Higgs boson has a mass of around the same as an iodine atom, or 125 billion EV. Next up, WCDF measurement. The WCDF measurement, the most precise ever, came in at 83 billion, which was greater than anticipated. The experiment's seven sigma estimates indicated that the likelihood of this deviation being due to chance was less than one in two trillion. The W boson's mass is related to that of other particles, notably the notorious Higgs boson. Thus, if this most recent disparity persists, the gold standard model may have even another fault. With more data, the three discrepancies might vanish as quickly as the revolutionary believes they will. Though discouraging to pessimists, all three point to yet-to-be-discovered particles or forces that interfere with the established physical laws. Therefore, University of Wisconsin physicist Kyle Cranmer, who also takes part in other CERN experiments, proposed that a new particle that would explain both G2 and the WM might be discovered at the LHC. While the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, will not tear the fabric of space and time, it may help researchers reveal some of the universe's secrets. Finally, what do we know about the dark matter? Scientists are optimistic that new findings may help them solve unresolved problems in science, such as what dark matter is. What we don't know about dark matter is substantial. The realization that the vast majority of the universe's stuff is completely invisible to our senses is mind-blowing. Astronomers believe dark matter exists because its gravitational effects can be measured. Galaxies and galaxy clusters are held together by an invisible cosmic framework known as dark matter. Dark matter is one of the most intriguing scientific mysteries since its nature is still poorly understood. Many physicists expected breakthroughs to occur when the first Big Collider experiment ran in 2010. However, apart from the Higgs, no other particles were discovered, and especially no additional particle that would provide insight into the nature of dark matter. As expected, the status quo model was unaffected, 
The Collider was stopped down at the end of 2018 for extensive maintenance and upgrades. After being in use until 2025, the Collider will be shut down for another two years for the installation of additional major upgrades. Included in this set of enhancements are modifications to the massive detectors that sit at the four points where the proton beams collide and analyze the collision debris. Since July, the detectors have been in use for testing. Compressing the proton beams enhances the probability of collisions at the crossing points, but it also causes confusion for detectors and computers due to the several sprays of particles that must be distinguished from one another. Well, that marks the end of today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like, subscribe and leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching.